Then I stopped my Webill S gimbal. Now the name is pronounced like Zion, Zinyun, or whatever it is you want to call it, but it is excellent. Also, I got the Canon T7. And the Canon T7, which if I'd have known it before I got it, it's a great starter camera. I would have got the Canon TI, which comes with a audio plug built in the camera. As you can see, this one don't. So what I had to do is, excuse me, I had to order separately a jack that actually you can plug into the side of the Canon T7, which is a excellent camera to get audio in for audio input. Well, I also have a newer seven inch monitor, which is excellent because the Canon T7, it don't have a flip out monitor on it. So actually when, you, when you're video recording yourself, you won't be able to see yourself. You won't be able to get that, that good focus in unless you got a, a, an external monitor. So that would make me buy that one. But if you uh, if you guys got the budget, uh, I would suggest that you buy the, the, uh, the EOS Rebel T7i or IT7, whatever name you want to call it. But hey, this is the one I chose to purchase and it's been lovely, it's been excellent for me. I bought a whole lot of accessories for it to go on my gimbal. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add all the accessories on the gimbal and show you how this looks as well as how it works. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna take my sidearm grip and I'm gonna put it on, which is also made by Ziyun or however you wanna pronounce the name. So I place this piece, make sure we're getting this right, on the bottom. Screw that in, I'm gonna lay this down. Give me just a little space here. I'll screw it in the bottom. And this takes less strain off your uh, off your arm when you're carrying a gimbal with all your accessories on it. So I actually have mine. I have mine sitting to the right side of my gimbal. It's perfect, man, for video recording yourself taking photos I'm gonna do it step by step so I want you all to see as I look everything on and as you can see it still have another quarter inch hole for the tripod stand which I want you guys to see that see the hole there let's go over here and also if you don't have the extra arm this tripod this moves up you can actually take this piece and sit it on the back of the gimbal for like low monitor recording or whatever. But I choose to buy the extra grip so I won't have to keep removing that one. They got a fast, they have a fast socket remover. I can't think of the name of it that helps you move this even faster, but I won't be removing mine once I hook it up. So, this the extra arm to go on it. So, so far, you see what we're looking like. And also, the other hand side grip, it also has a mounting bracket for you to mount a light, microphone, or external monitor. So I'm adding everything onto my gimbal before I actually balance out my Canon T7 on it. It's a quick release plate on here, which this goes up under the camera. Definitely gonna need a dime, quarter, or a nickel, or a penny to mount it, which it goes this way. This camera this way, flip over. You have your weight going towards the front. Also, this little bracket here is for a longer lens if you choose to have one. So. I would say when you're mounting your bracket on or holding on to your gimbal, you might want to give it a couple of inches back. And as you can see, it has settings. So I suggest if you're going to be using a certain lens to write it down, what your settings will be. Easy work. It's not that hard. I thought it was when I got it. Went through a couple of videos. Seen 
and it was pretty easy work. And as you can see, I'm tightening it up with a dime. And I don't actually need the weight because I'm using the standard set, the standard lens that came with my Canon T7, which is the 1855. And as you see, I'm leaving just a little bit off the back. Maybe about a quarter of an quarter of this size bracket. Let's get to the fun part. Also, I got an Artura, which a link will be in the description on all the accessories I got for my Wii Bill. I have a Tura wide lens that I'm going to be placing on my camera. Mic, it's about a hundred bucks. 
bracket here. I want you all to see that there are settings on here that you can always know where you set it at. And as you can see, you see how my microphone is actually tapping the back of the gimbal? I wanted to have maybe a hair inch of space between it once I balance this out. setting you like then lock it now
Once you balance it, you should be able to move from side to side and stay that way. All my arms are unlocked except my last one, which is at the bottom here. Now, we want that to stay sideways. And it's also good to get the external arm because when you're holding don't have and you're holding it up this way you can press the button but they also can be locked i don't want to make no mistakes in pressing nothing while i'm recording
there you have it. A full setup. Let's go film a movie.